Hey everybody, good morning. Happy Easter and happy Easter week and weekend to all of you. Scott Zano from the Scott Zano Realty Group come back at you one more time for the state of the market for Bonstable County ending February 28th, 2021. So today I just want to finish up uh, for the end of February. Uh, everybody knows the stats are about <clears throat> 30 days behind. So the reason that we do these videos, not to mention that I love doing the videos, but one of the reasons that we want to do them for you is so that we can um, try to give you as much information as possible to make uh, the best decision uh, whether you're a seller or a buyer or you're thinking of selling or you're thinking of buying in the future. Um, home ownership, you know, is the key to generational wealth. So the more knowledge that you have, the more power you have, right? So uh, let's get right back uh, into it. Uh, so today uh, we're going to start off the four quadrants, uh, the same four quadrants we talk about all the time, closed units. Days on market, Mr. Dom, median uh, median sales price, um, and the active listings. So let's get right into it. So for closed units, um, January 30th, we ended up with 369 closed units. Okay. In February, um, just closing up the year of the month, uh, the end of the month was three uh, 339 closed units for the month of uh, February. Uh, remember, uh, the peak uh, closed sales uh, month uh, for last year was September with 710 units. So that's, you know, about half the units uh, in February uh, as opposed to uh, September of last year. Next, uh, we want to talk about days on market. So what is days on market, Scott, and how does that help me make a decision whether I want to list my house or not? So days on market tells us as real estate agents, uh, how fast uh, properties are going under contract. Um, some of them are going under over the weekend. Uh, some of them take a week or two. Some of them take a month. Um, some of them take five or six months. It, it all depends on the price, the location, the condition. Um, there's a lot of variable factors, but I can guarantee you if your uh, home is priced properly and it presents itself well, and it's uh, promoted properly, meaning exposed to the world uh, through internet and different various uh, marketing um, areas, um, it will sell and it will sell quickly. Um, so right now, uh, days on market, as you can see, uh, on January, uh, they were in about 24 days. In December of 2020, it was about the same 24 days, and we closed out February uh, with just a slight bump of six days uh, additional at 30 days on market. So that is a very, very quick turnaround uh, to put your house on the market and have it under contract um, and taking only uh, 30 days uh, as an average, all right? Uh, the last property that we had uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was the little pink house uh, on uh, 16 Harvard Street. Um, we advertised it, and um, we had a list price at 349. We had um, 30 couples come through, I believe, and that property generated 18 offers. Um, so we're grateful for that. The sellers were happy. Uh, so things like that is, is what's happening. So um, last year, um, it was about 75 days on market. So compared last February with this February, homes are selling in half the time. If you guys like this content that we're putting out, please uh, you know give us a thumbs up or a hot. We'd love to hear from everybody. Uh, we'd love to... Um, you know, get uh, comments from you guys. Um, we do this, uh, we do this, you know, because we love doing it. And uh, it, it, it's great information and it keeps everybody um, abreast of what's going on uh, to the market. So um, 
Turn on your notifications. Give us, give us some thumbs up. We, uh, we appreciate the love. All right. Uh, uh, next one is, <clears throat> I want to go over, is the median sales price uh, for Bonstable County. So the median sales price takes in the low, the high, averages it out, and then it gives you the median, right? So Bonstable County um, is, you know, all the way from Provincetown to, I guess, parts of Plymouth a little bit, uh, right to the bridge, let's just say. So that's a big area that it covers. Um, Bonstable County median sales price, December, we ended at uh, 520. January, we were at 519. Today, at the end of February 28th, 2021, the median sales price is dropped just a smidge to about five hundred thousand. All right, uh, about nineteen thousand dollars off of uh, the last couple of months. A year ago, uh, in February of 2020, the median sales price was four hundred twenty thousand. So that has gone up considerably, um, about eighty thousand dollars. The last one that we want to talk about out of the four quadrants is active listings. So active listings, you know, play a big part on uh, pricing of these properties and how quickly they go under uh, contract. And uh, so the more homes that you have on the market, um, it has a tendency to be, say, more of a buyer's market. The less homes on the market uh, tends to be uh, more of a seller's market, which is what we're in right now. because. The inventory is so, so low. It's not just here in Cape Cod. It's throughout, okay? Um, all the podcasts that I listen to, all the different groups that I'm in, um, it's the same everywhere. It's not just one particular pocket uh, um, uh, like here on the Cape. So, um, yeah, inventory is really, really low. Uh, so if you're thinking about selling your home, please give us a call at 508 566 one Shoot me an email at sjzano at gmail.com uh, and we'll uh, strike up a conversation. Come on, take a look at your property. Uh, we've been very busy uh, looking at properties over the last couple of weeks. So there will be a lot more properties coming on the market. Um, and uh, as people come back from Florida and more people are being vaccinated, uh, I believe that you'll see more properties coming on the market. Things will loosen up a little bit. Um, so uh, keep your eyes out for, uh, we're always happy to see uh, you know, more, more properties come on the market for our buyers. Let's get down to the last one here. It's active listings. So um, <clears throat> at the end of December, um, there was 776 active listings on the market. Uh, at the end of January of 2021, it dropped just a little bit to 687. Well, closing out February 28th of 2021, we're down to just 510 listings. That's 510 listings on the entire MLS uh, here on the, uh, the Cape, all right? Last February, look at this, guys. Last February of 2020, there was 1,900 homes for sale. So half of that would be about 1,000. So we're, we're about three quarters, you know, uh, less inventory than we should be carrying here for for everybody this time of year. Um, it's about 14 homes, 1,400 homes less uh, this year uh, versus last year. Uh, last year in January, there was 1,800 homes for sale. February, there was 1,918 homes for sale. And last March, there was 1,800 uh, homes for sale as well. So typically, you know, we carry somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 listings um, per month, month in and month out, right? So we're down to just 510 listings. So our job is to help you guys make great decisions. We hope that you enjoyed this information. And if you're seriously thinking about selling or buying, or if you have any real estate questions, you guys know me by now. My door is always open. You can always call me, text me, email me, whatever the case may be. Even if you have a regular real estate question, you know, if I don't have the answer, uh, I can go to my broker or I can uh, talk to somebody in that field and we can uh, find uh, a way to make it work. We want to thank you guys so much 
for watching another uh, episode of State of the Market. Um, and thank you for walking with us for a few minutes here and, um, you know, taking the time, um, you know, to hang out. Uh, that's it for now. We wish you all a happy, happy Easter um, and a safe Easter. Stay, continue to stay safe and stay healthy and mask up, right? So uh, we're coming to the, hopefully the tail end of this uh, coronavirus thing. And uh, hopefully things will open up for everybody and get back to uh, normal. Again, thank you, st uh, thank you so much. Uh, Scott Zaino from the Scott Zaino Realty Group. Just signing out one more time for State of the Market ending February 28th, 2021. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.